Isn't it a wonderful song? I mean, for those of you who weren't alive at the time of the early 80s, Disney had a little bit of an identity crisis because they lost some of their better animators, namely Don Bluth and company. And they started an animated company that created some of the most beautiful animated movies of the 1980s. American Tell was one of them, and this was the titular song, Somewhere Out There. And today you are going to learn how to play Somewhere Out There on your cello. I have pulled this particular song from the Pop Cello Melodies book. Check it out. It's a wonderful book. It's directly from that. So please purchase the book. It's listed in the description below. The beginning starts very simply as it is as the bowing goes. Let's look at the second stave, the fifth measure, and it starts with an up bow. Then lift your bow for the recap of somewhere. Then up bow. And then the last two notes of this score are going to be connected, and we want to make that also an up bow. Now, here for the end, even though I know how very far apart we are. This wonderful part, I want you to consider playing it as you wish. Now, I did legatos throughout the entire bit until I got to the underneath the same big sky right here. I played it separately. So you will see my markings in the video. I played it like this. This is how I played it in the video, connecting every two eighth notes until we arrive to underneath the same big sky where all of it is separate bows. I'll demonstrate that bowing for you right now. separate. Moving along, we have this part here, and I really liked the way it flowed. Again, I want you to play as you wish, but the way I play this, then we'll be together. So I like that, out there, connecting, so connect out there and out where. Let's move on to the fingerings, and this is where we change cellos. This beautiful melody was written by Barry Mann and James Horner, lyrics by Cynthia Vitti. We have the key of E major, and we will need to understand the positions that are here on the screen. It's very important that we look at the upper positions, so upper second and upper third. Of course, fourth position and half position will be used as well. So let's review quickly the E major two octave scale. I have a five string cello. First position ends in double dots. Fourth position begins in these double dots here. This is an extra string. Starting here in the 
E major extension. Make sure you know your E major two octave scale in order to play this beautiful song. This has a lot of extensions. Fourth, first. Back to fourth, extended first. Right here is the first opportunity where you see a different fingering. We have the top fingering, more basic. And if you know me in my studio, I have this thing about not playing the open A. Yet, in the context of this particular song, sung by a child mouse, but still a child, there's an innocent purity to playing on the A in this particular beginning of the song. So I deliberately like it there. This is nice too in the extended fourth position. But because again, it's a child singing alone, loving me in the night, there's an innocent beauty to it. And so I choose the open A there. Let us continue. Here, I have two fingerings labeled, a three, one, fourth to first. But I would be remiss to tell you I didn't use that. I went to a four, two in the upper third position, one, three, first. And the reason why you want to do that better bottom instead of top is because the 4-2 allows the index finger to be open for the shift. See? Bang. The index finger is open and ready to make the shift back. If you played with the index finger on the E, you'd have to either bar it It's a little more, but again, if you know the upper third position, you would most benefit from that. Let's continue to the half position. The next part here, we have two fingerings. The top part is the very basic open string with a extension. Or if you want to challenge yourself to play in the upper second, upper third position. And at the end there, you're not doing the extended and the string crossing. Again, that is completely your choice. Yet for the next part, and even though I know how very far apart we are, then shift to Open that hand, back to four on the E, then two on the E to the upper third, back to the upper second, first position. Upper second, fifth, fourth. Let's move to then we'll be together, the second to last stave, half position, upper third, cross to the G, E, and then this all ends in the upper third position. One, two.
Thank you for watching my video today on how to play Somewhere Out There by Barry Mann and James Horner on your cello. If you learned something, leave a like and consider subscribing because I do this as often as I can. And share this with somebody who you know really likes Don Bluth movies. <laughs> Land Before Time, Secret of Nim, uh, American Tell, All Dogs Go to Heaven. If you were alive in the 80s, it was a great time to be a fan of animated movies because this was an anime from Japan and this certainly was in Disney. It was a fantastic movie and a little extra credit for you. Why does Fievel have to go to the United States? Leave the answer in the comment below if you're watching this video. It's a very particular answer. I didn't notice as a child, but rewatch the movie. There is a reason why Fievel has to go to the United States. Thank you again for watching my video, and I hope you continue to enjoy everything that Cello has to offer as you travel along your own path of music discovery. I'm really happy my puppy has been quiet this whole time. She just woke up. Hi. Oh, oh you. You just woke up, huh? Thank you for being quiet for me.